hello everybody welcome to my channel once again today i decided to show you where to buy affordable made in rwanda art and craft products is uh, at the art and craft section of the kimironko market one of the biggest market of kigali so just here at the entrance you see zim stresses on the assyrian machine this is the entrance of the art and craft section so you just enter so that uh, women you see they are there to serve you so when you enter you see different or should i say numerous art and craft products uh, uh, vendors sell uh, like african clothes um, uh, Purses clothes, uh, purses made uh, made from African fabrics. Uh, they sell um, numerous products like uh, African uh, Ghanaian fabrics, Nigerian fabrics, Rwandan fabrics. Mostly, here you have ready to wear African dresses. So already made by Zimstress on at that place if you want it. So you have the choice. Numerous products are waiting for you. You just have the choice. You choose. You you just take what you want. So and the market is very organized, very clean. Uh, vendors are uh, each of vend of the vendors have their stands. So uh, you choose who you want. Here you see African uh, earrings. They made it from um, here are African dresses, African bags. Here is the Zim Stress Hall we saw just at the beginning. So when you enter, you ask for their services, and here they display their work. So what they are able to sew, shirts, dresses. You just make your choice, and you choose. You show them the style of clothes you want so that they sew it. Okay, so they you choose the clothes there and they reproduce the same thing on that at that place. They don't move. They just take your measurement. So this is where when they just arrive at the beginning with that green cloth. It was early in the morning. So when they arrive, they start removing the uh, each of that green clothes and they start sewing at that place. Depending on what you want, it can take them one hour, two hours uh, to sew what you want exactly. So you have the choice. Right now, at this moment, they weren't too. Uh, they were. They didn't come. All of them didn't come yet. So did you just see right now a few of them will start coming and start sewing for customers and customers just sit down and they wait for the result it can take them one or two hours really, that's how they do to earn their life that's how they make money at that market i find the idea very interesting because it allow people not to stay at home and look for a job and uh, maybe crying for uh, poverty or anything you can imagine so the market is very organized if you see these different clothes and the different stands they have you see all of them they are focused on their work you they they, they just do what they have to do definitely um also they bring their machine that's why you need to know like this woman you see her machine is on the floor she brought her machines they don't they don't leave the machine at night when they leave they they bring the machine and they install here where you see on this table you see this machine i find it very interesting because it's one of the first first sewing wash machine in the in the past we use and they still use it and i think it's very uh strategic because they don't spend electricity so they don't they just rent the the place in this section and they sew people and they sew people's clothes they don't spend no electricity like the new modern machine people use right now and when the machine is poor they can call a technician so like right now you see this woman her machine has a problem has a had a problem and she call a technician so technician come they check what's go, what's wrong with the machine and they try to repair that they bring their material while uh, before coming so that they can repair the machine at that place and that women they pay them 
and they and that man they just live so and so and so forth that's how they manage and i find that very interesting how africans know how to face challenges uh, even if they don't have the means to to buy like maybe fancy machines or uh, like more uh, recent machines human machine yeah this man was, was also um trying to repair the machine of another woman i didn't show his face no some of them they don't want you to record to, to show their face so he was trying to repair the machine of that woman and she was just waiting her turn, waiting so that she can continue her work so that's the lifestyle in rwanda you see how it's interesting so when they finish sewing you see the result so when they finish sewing the customer is ready to take his clothes and go back home simple so that's how these people make money these women make money okay guys these are the art and craft products i was able to buy at the market so it's a hundred percent made in rwanda so you see how creative they are uh, this is a decorative uh, flat basket it's supposed to be hung on the wall you see you hang on the wall and it's a set so you can hang uh, the uh, the three uh, products on the wall to make your wall uh, as decorative as possible this is an african cloth uh, this one I was able to buy it at 15,000 Rwandan franc, but I think they, they, they charge me 20,000. You can negotiate and you can always negotiate, so I was able to get it at 15,000. Uh, what I wanted to say, <clears throat> what is good in Africa, you can negotiate the price, but according to the location, if you go to a supermarket, you have to buy uh, as they propose you. But in the market and some other con in some other context you can negotiate this african nice african clothes i like it very much <laughs> these earrings this bracelet you see how creative they are this small basket you can put your earrings inside your jewelries generally and this small bag i think this was the most in is expensive i guess it's more difficult to make it this one they were selling at uh, uh, 16,000 random crown. This nice and wonderful bag, uh, it was uh, 6,000, but they were charging me more. I negotiated this small bag of uh, 6,000. This wonderful and nice bag, I like it. If you want to go out and you don't want something too big. So basically, this is what I bought, you see and like i told you if you want to buy cheap stuff is at this market there are other places there are art and craft uh, there's another and craft shopping mall i know it's precisely at remera uh, i think it's cap lucky i will go there again for you to show you the difference uh cap lucky craft i think something like that i don't really remember the name it was a long time ago but over there is a little more expensive it's a little more expensive so this is the best deal i show you the best place to go so just simply take note and uh, when you come in kigali you already know where to go exactly so just take note so we are at the end of this video thanks for half watched that share it if you find it interesting continue following my channel and particularly click on the notification bell to get the latest updates so take care of you and bye